Yo, what up gamers, I'm Big Product, and you're watching my Talon Jungle guide. Talon Jungle was in a bit of a rough spot after his nerf in 12.2, but the introduction of Treasure Hunter revitalized him in the form of his full assassin rune page. He's back to being one of the junglers with the strongest hero potential on the current patch, and I'm going to teach you exactly how to play him. Make sure to subscribe to see more future guides for all roles. We start our clear with W. Although if we were to start Q, each Q cast would probably deal more damage than each W cast, you wouldn't get enough Q procs in order to proc your passive. Procking your passive is a pretty big part of Talon's jungling, and you will definitely clear faster with W start. Typically you're going to want to full clear on Talon, so we move over to the, to the golems here. And once again using our passive with the Q this time. Also smiting it, because you don't want to take too much damage from this part, and it's pretty tanky, so you want to get it down as fast as you can. Now here, just kiting the small golems a little bit away, and then as we're ready to leave the pit, just using W to finish them off, that's when we start moving towards the left again. So we hit a small raptor here, just to make all the raptors group up, so we can hit all of them with W. Then we focus the big one. Then we just finish off whichever raptors are very low after the second W cast. Now, because we're full clearing, uh, we're going to put another point into W. This is going to make our full clear a lot faster than if we were to take E, which is what you want to do if you already want to look for ganks. Um, I missed one of the small wolves there, but that's fine. Um, in general, though, you should be able to clear both wolves with just one W cast, generally. Okay, so it seems we've been... Invaded, Kiana has taken my blue and Gromp, so we don't really have any choice here but to go for Kale. Just using Red Trinket here to check for wards and also to check for Kiana. No Kiana, so we can just try and make the gank work then. Alright, there we go. Don't want to force it too hard. Force the flash, that's fine. So we're assuming Kiana has to be bot side because she wouldn't be sticking around top side when there's probably no camps left for her there. So this should be a pretty free scuttle taking for us. It's not enough to make up for all the camps we missed out on that she took, but at least we can get something to help us get towards level 4. Can also maybe go for the Anna gank here. Okay, may have to flash on her here. Just barely weren't able to get the kill off before she dashed. Yeah, it's looking pretty free. Alright. Also looking like we can probably get the second scuttle crab here. It's gonna make it run the other way. Oh, wow, that almost got stolen. That's also a big collapse, but we're all good here. We don't need our ball in to move over. We can just... Go ahead and finish our clear, or not finish our clear, but start our clear again. We can already actually back for this Reddit Dirk if we wanted to. I just don't want to back and just uh, find that Kiana's taken my Raptors. So I'm going to take Golems first and then the Raptors as they come up as well. And then I'm just going to back because there's no way that Kiana would be taking my top side camps. So we, we're fine to just back and leave those up. So again, we run from the golems and just wait for the W to come back up. Again, just make it, make sure that you hit one of the raptors first just to group them all up. Otherwise, your W may not hit them all. Yeah, I could definitely do with backing here as you can see. There we go. Alright, I was thinking about uh, going for that mid lane wave, but a Relin Soul is there already. Alright, so grabbing the Serrated Dirk, and also grabbing another Longsword. So the first item we're going to want to go for is the Yomu's Ghostblade. Uh, Yomu's is really good in Talon because because of his E, he uses move speed really well. And also as a champion, he kind of struggles getting uh, like on top of targets. But he has like really overkill damage when you actually get... Uh, can get on top of someone and as I said because of his E just scales really well with move speed So when you get more move speed your E it just like dashes faster, you know 
Okay, finding Kiana. Inner jungle again. That was quite a risky invade from her. Hopefully she doesn't get away from this, but kill should be around as well. Kill is six as well. She just used it on Kiana. Unfortunately, we managed to wait that out. It was mostly wasted because Kiana was invisible anyway. Alright, barely managed to get away there. That's good. Could just dash through here and maybe try and get a kill steal. Alright, just barely didn't get that, unfortunately. Could maybe go for Diana here, though. Let's see what a Relay Install can do. Oh, okay, that's not going to result in anything. We can just maybe base then, or... Yeah, I mean, Kiana's red buff is coming up, but her death timer is not that long, so I think we might not be able to get that in time. That's fine. We already punished her correctly for that really risky invade. So now just going to head over towards Golems. Or to the red buff. We're sitting on two smite charges, so you want to make sure you use the second smite as fast as you can. Especially at this stage where you haven't unlocked your upgraded smite yet. Yeah, I wanted to go for the scuttle as well. Using the blast cone, so in case I happen to find somebody there and I need to escape, I can just E back. So from this angle, okay, I was thinking I could probably get all of the raptors, but you see that one of them didn't get hit. So CDR is also pretty valuable on Talon Jungle. Because you're basically reliant on two W casts to clear every single camp. So the faster your second W comes up, the faster you will be able to, be able to clear every camp. If you manage to take off like two seconds off your W, that's like two seconds off every camp clear. Although there is diminishing returns on that at a certain point, because eventually you're just walking away from the camp towards your next camp, and you're just waiting for that second W to come up. I was thinking that I could maybe just sneak this Drake, but it seems Kiana already had the same idea. I've already used her smite, I guess, is not able to secure that. We just kill Kiana and also get the Drake. So the combo that you saw me do there is commonly known as the flower combo, but you can also think of it as the fast combo. This combo hits a champion with every single ability in your kit as fast as humanly possible. The way you want to do it is to use W, then Q, and then R mid Q before your Q actually connects, but while close enough to the target that your initial R hit will hit them. And with the hits of W, R, and Q, you will have your passive ready to proc, at which point you auto, and then it also hit them with your second R. I recommend practicing this combo in practice tool until you can replicate it consistently without needing to think about it. After that, it's just a matter of learning how much damage it does and whether it will kill the target you want to go for. In this case, Kiana was already low HP, but with these items, I would not have been able to one-shot her from full HP. If you need more damage to kill a target, you'll want to go for a more extended combo that fits in more autos and possibly more cooldowns. Your Q dash leads to one free auto, and then your W slow can lead to another free auto, and then your R movement speed can help you land another one, at which point if your target still isn't dead, you'll probably have another Q up to auto again. You can squeeze in as many or as few autos as you need, or however many your opponent will allow you to hit. If they are fighting back, then you can delay R as long as you can to buy time for a second Q to finish them off. The last combo I'm going to talk about is one that allows you to fluidly hit your passive on someone without needing to use W, in case it's on cooldown. You start off hitting an enemy with your first R, and then ranged Q them from max range. If done properly, your ranged Q travel time will be long enough for your second R to land before you can auto, leading to both R hits and a Q hit in time to proc your passive as soon as you can auto. Alright, pathing towards topside now since that's where all of our camps are. Can maybe look for a gank on either Kale or Diana. Once I finish farming these camps, ca farming camps is the priority. You mainly want to just. Uh, Unless there's something that, that's like really pressing to go for, you want to finish farming your camps and then go look for plays. Okay, it looks like something is going on top. See if we can help there. Nope. Strani already got the silicone. Nice one. Ideally, I should have noticed that a lot sooner. I should be paying more attention to the lanes. Gonna go invade Kiana's jungle here. Yeah, we see Kiana top lane, so we know it's perfectly safe to go for this. Kind 
Okay. No red buff to steal. Just checking the golems. There's no golems either, so... We can just leave here. Maybe we can find Kiana here. I can probably 1v1 her. Well. Close one. Well, yeah, actually this happened to me the other day as well. I was playing uh, Talon Jungle in Clash against the Kiana Jungle. I always underestimated her burst. I did not expect it to one-shot me from full HP there. I thought I could, I thought the fight would last long enough for me to buy time for my ultimate to come up, but nope, straight up one-shot. My bad. By the way, small tip guys for when you're using Features Market, if you ping how much gold you need for an item, like to, the way you would ping it for your teammates to let them know that you're close to an item, uh, it'll let you know how much you need even through the Futures Market. So if you're unsure like how much gold you're getting from Futures Market, you can just uh, ping it, like a, ping the longsword and it'll just let you know how much you need to wait for, whether it's worth the waiting or not. Can maybe go for quick gank on their belt in here. Just gonna prioritize that over these golems. All right, here we go. Ah, shit. Fine, we'll leave Lux, just try and go for Jin. Oh, okay, I got exhausted, so I do no damage. Can maybe still finish him though? I think I should be able to get him here, I got flash. Okay, I have to, I have to flash unfortunately, but that's fine. Okay, uh, Kiana's probably gonna be here. I could steal that ground, but I'm just gonna try and get out of here as fast as I can. Ugh, that's unlucky, I was... Even if she was there, I was hoping I would just be able to blast Cone. Uh, fast enough that she wouldn't be able to burst me, but I just got instantly rooted. Oh well. Uh, gonna go for the Iron Ins here. As mentioned before, CDR is really good on Talon Jungle. Well, mess at least bit of my clear. Because my clear at the, at the moment is more dependent on the cooldown of my W than it is over the damage of my W. Or my damage, the damage of anything else that I've got. It's also really useful to have your ultimate ups, uh, you know, as often as possible as well, since... You're kind of useless in fights as Talon Jungle, or just Talon in general if you don't have ult up. Okay, this time I'm gonna, st gonna start clearing from top to bot, since now that's a possibility. And I'd rather play around bot lane at this point than uh, top lane. So Johnny already has the lead anyway. And it's not the kind of champion I'd like to snowball. Yeah, I'm just gonna prioritize getting the red buff here over going for the mid lane farm. Can maybe gank Dan after this though. Just gonna smite it to get it down faster, see if we can maybe go for Dana now. Just waiting for a real insult. Alright, here we go. Yeah, if I'd used my ultimate, maybe I would have killed her fast enough for a villain to live there, but honestly, I don't think so. I'm better not to waste that if I don't have to. Because I don't want to face check there, because I don't know where Kiana is. I don't want to run into her and get one shot again. Okay, she's actually at Herald. See if we can find her. Wait, she's... Costing the Herald, that's weird. Okay, there's probably kill coming after me, so I can't really do anything about the Herald. We can maybe win the Sidranis here. Okay, kill is low. If we play this really slow, just don't let Kiana get onto me. We can probably just outplay them here. There we go. Would have been a clean kill there, but that's fine. It's a shame that I didn't get an assist on kill again, because she's one of the only treasure hunter stacks that I don't have yet. That's twice now that I've just barely missed out on a kill participation on her. Anyway, we're gonna help Sidrani shove this wave and also just go for the turret. <laughs> Sorry, Sidrani. But we can probably get the turret here. Even if Kill is TP, she won't be alive in time to get this, uh, to defend this. And with platings down, it's just gonna be an easy turret taking. Ah, yeah, there we go. Now we'll check Kiana's jungle. It 
Doesn't seem like anything is up. The golems are spawning soon. But that's gonna be too late for me to go for that. Wow, I did not think she would already be here. Yeah, we're okay. Wait, what? Why is kill here? She must have TP'd there. That's <laughs> unlucky, I guess. Yeah, usually going for raptors there would be free. I'm actually amazed she was already there. My bad, I guess. I guess she must have died like a lot sooner than Kale. Because Kale had only just revived. But anyway, uh, this is more or less how I would expect this matchup to go. Uh, Talon is very much more of a scaling jungler than an early game jungler. It's weird because on mid lane he's more of an early game champion. But compared to junglers, he's actually pretty weak in the early game. So, so long as my farm is good, which at the moment is decent, it could be better, but... It's definitely not bad. Then I'm in an alright spot, and we're gonna be doing Death Stand's third item. At which point the matchup should completely turn around. She won't be able to one-shot me through that anymore. And by three items, you definitely have the damage to just one-shot any, any squishy like Kiana. If she doesn't build armor. Okay, looks like we can go for kill here. Just popping the Yumus as I jump the wall. Again, also using my uh, blue smite on kill before uh, she manages to hit me. That's It's a very useful uh, smite on first strike users. Because it, it pretty much guarantees that you're going to hit them before they hit you. Or like within the window that you need for first strike to proc. It's really annoying if you're like dashing towards kill. And she just hits you with an auto before your Q lands, and then you don't get the gold or the damage from first strike. It's good to smite people in that kind of situation. Maybe go for a plan bot here. Oh, here's Kiana. Okay, nice. I didn't go too well for them. Gonna be able to easily chase here. Popping the Yomus. I jump up here and then down here in order to get to them as fast as I can. Probably didn't need to ult there, actually, that's my bad. Actually, I, I'm playing this way too defensively. I thought they would have more damage there. Okay, let's get the Blask on, that's fine. Okay, I don't really have the tankiness to survive the Ana here. Okay, Vayne playing it really well, though. Just need to buy, buy my time. Okay, at this point, I'm only going in for the kill steal. It's just a little bit unfortunate that she dropped from like 50% HP to like 10% HP directly because I could have intervened around like the 20 to 30% HP mark. Which would have not been a kill still, it would have been genuinely helping, but uh, that's just how it ended up. Once she's dropped that low, there's no point in not taking the kill also, I think. I'll definitely use the gold way better than Aurelian Solar Yumi, for example. Yeah, so as you can see with these raptors now, I didn't even need to hit that big one actually. I just walk away from the raptors. The faster my W comes up, the sooner I can start walking away and get to the next camp. Same for these wolves. So you see how CDR is really useful for this Claire. Not to mention, the more CDR you have, the more passive procs you can get, or the faster you will get your passive proc. Pretty handy. We can also just check Kiana's jungle here. At this point, I've got ultimate up. Uh, I've got every wall available. If I happen to run into Kiana, I'm extremely safe. I can easily get away. So we're just going to steal as much as we can. I have no idea where Kiana is. I also don't know if they have vision or not. So it, like this is sort of a risky play, but it's the kind of risky play that Talon can get away with. Yeah, we just stole her entire top side, and I would not have done this if I was most other champions, just purely because Talon's escapability is just so high. This is the kind of plays you need to be looking to make whenever your ultimate is up. I didn't even need to use my ultimate for this play, I just opened up the possibility. You know, if I, if I needed to escape, I knew that I could, and I didn't end up needing to escape, so it's really good. Okay, I'm really close to this dance, but no point staying right now. <coughs> We're just gonna back already. 
as well just get the full chain vest we can use you don't need to be uh very strict about when you use futures market guys i know a lot of people when they take futures market they're like oh i don't want to buy like very small components like cloth armor or long sword because it'll cost me 50 gold but you, in the average game, even if you're being very liberal in your use of Futures Market, you're still going to gain gold overall from Futures Market, then you're going to lose. And if even if you do end up like using Futures Market so many times, they actually do end up slightly negative in gold. There's no way that those items that you bought throughout the entire game never helped you gain a gold advantage. Like, so long as you're not wasting it on just like control wards... Then it is very it is very worth to just use futures market on any component that you can think of. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Since she uh, broke her stealth there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die here. But since she broke her stealth earlier and didn't have a reset on her stealth, I can just go for the not the fast combo exactly, but I already hit her with W and R, so I can just quickly range Q into auto attack, and I know that kills her. I know I have the damage for that at this point. It's the same damage as the Voss combo, although the execution was a little bit different, obviously. It was a combo that mainly is used for escape. If I just needed to run, I would have just ran to the wall and eat away. But, you know, I also have the opportunity to turn if I want to. Was it the right call to turn? Eh, I don't know. I got a kill, I got killed. I guess we'll also Drake, so probably not. But still, like, being down your ultimate as Talon is pretty annoying, no matter what. So it could be that uh, they would have just taken the Drake anyway. With my ult on cooldowns, this would be useless then. At least this way I just got my death stance. So now I'm going to be super strong. This item is actually very strong on assassins right now. Uh, because the amount of healing that it gives you is based on bonus AD. So, I mean, every item that you're building is just going to be focused on AD and armor pen, right? So I'm going to get a ridiculous amount of healing from this. And because I actually genuinely need the armor... Yeah, look at it. look at this healing. I'm still like barely below full HP. Yeah, we already got some really big healing from this. I was nowhere near close to dying at any point, even though I was the primary person taking focus there. All right, Lux flashes away. That's fine. We'll just go on Jen. Ah, didn't get it. Oh well. If Vayne weren't bot, we could probably do Baron, but that's fine. Even if we can't take Baron, just taking the enemy jungle is also a pretty major win in my book. Can also go for this top lane wave since nobody else would be getting to it anytime soon. Sidron is also taking the Raptor, so there's nothing for me there. But yeah, at this stage, like around the, let's say, oh, hang on. All right, <laughs> look at this death stance healing, man. Yeah, I'm just ending the fight on full HP after dropping to like 30%. Okay, I probably should have uh, not autoed as soon as I could, just waited for the passive, but the end result is the same. I dropped again to like 10% HP, but again, ending the fight on full HP. You don't need to go Death Stance every game. Some games you might want to prioritize um, the Cerulea's Grudge if the enemies just have a lot of armor and you need the armor to get uh, armor pen to get your job done in terms of killing people. But in a game like this, especially the further ahead you are, the more value is uh, the more value there is in defensive items because you're just gonna one shot people anyway. And you're going to be preventing yourself from getting one shot. And that's especially important in a matchup like this against Kiana. Okay, so I don't die, but she's I needed to Q on Dotto, which takes like 0 0.2 seconds. Just Q on Dotto and she'd be dead. And for like 6 seconds straight, I couldn't do it. <laughs> that's incredible, man. That champion is just so annoying. Anyway, back to our jungle we go. Anyway, yeah, also, as I was saying, so around, let's say, the 18-minute mark, 
Talon's jungle just because or Talon's clear becomes incredibly fast. And not just jungle clear, but also like clearing lanes. So you can just roam all across the map. Even and even that's fast. You know, you you traverse the map so incredibly fast. So you just become a like super fast farming machine. It makes it so easy to get farm on Talon jungle uh, around that stage. You can actually get much more CS per minute in the mid game as Talon than you can in the early game. Can I get her this time? Nope, still invisible. <laughs> yeah. Fun champion. I guess I need to stop blowing my ultimate on her every time she goes into stealth, because I keep thinking, yeah, she'll come out of that, that and then I can one-shot her, but she already has another stealth available. I ain't meant to fight that. Or kill that. Alright, they're setting up a Drake. I wish I could have spent my gold before this fight, but... Okay, this is gonna be a little bit risky, but I'm gonna try and go for the steal. Just waiting until I think it's slow. Alright, here we go. Oh, cut! Are you serious? Alright, we're gonna flash. Okay, I just barely missed the smite. Playing the fight nice and slow because I already had to waste my ultimate. Dana dies here, I get a lot of healing from that stance. Perfect. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. The fact that I have a Yumi on top of the death stance is just the cherry on top. Alright. Yeah, we just stomped that fight. Even though I'm sitting on 4,000 gold. Gonna be able to take the Kiana's Wolves right in front of her. So my team doesn't need my help taking the bot Terrace. So I'm just gonna see if I can either hunt Kiana or just take all of her camps. She can't really do anything about this. Gonna go into this brush, check that she's not around. If she walks up, we'll just one shot her before she can react. Using the fast combo, which obviously is like enough damage to be overkill at this point. Yeah, and this is what you wanna do, like whenever you get a major win or whenever you can just uh zone the enemy jungler out of their jungle. You want to take all of their camps. It just completely drowns them out and just gets you really fed. So if we can maybe get Kiana or somebody here. Oh god. Okay, that's fine. Um, Do we want to fight here? Not really. I would have liked to Q Kiana there, but just went invisible. Get this scuttle before they can. I really need to look to spend my gold at some point as well. Okay, so we're gonna back now. Oh, actually, they're doing Baron. I can't back right now. I need to try and stop this. Or steal it, we'll see. Okay, Kiana had no stealth there, I actually managed to just one-shot her. Okay, I think the Baron is reset by now. I'll just leave. Yeah, there's no way they're gonna start the Baron now without uh, Kiana there. Because it's full HP again. They can't just finish it off. Cool, I actually get the back now then. It's actually surprising that worked out so well. Um... We'll get to that stance, or I say the edge of night, I guess, and I guess we'll go for Axiom. Wow, I'm actually just full build, just like that. From three items to six, or five items to four items to six items. Ooh, actually, I just realized I don't actually have any armor pen yet, any percentage armor pen. I really should have grabbed the Sorrel Grudge instead of Axiom, but I will. We can swap that out soon, shouldn't take me too long to get the gold anyway. Anyway, I see their boss side camps are up. I see most of their team. Okay, well, thought they might be up. Okay. Nice. That wasn't exactly the flower combo, but it got the job done. Gonna start the Baron now, then I guess. Although I don't know about this. 
I think I would just rather fight, use this as an excuse to engage. Hmm. Don't really want to go for kill because of her ultimate. Oh, come on. I was not even in that range. Ah. That was super unlucky. My E just got cancelled by Dan ult as soon as I got unstunned. So I was stuck there for so long. Should have flashed, I guess. Okay, not bad. Got the Cerildo's Grudge now, too. Yeah, as you can see, I've been massively at impacting the Kiana by now. I was right that I completely outskill her. Especially after I bought the Death Stance, she's just been completely useless against me. The most she can do is sometimes survive when she does like the triple stealth bullshit. Okay, this should be our Drake. Just gonna grab the red real quick. Okay, I'll blast going through. Oh no, I got stunned mid combo. I was gonna burst it with an ultimate and everything. That was actually super unlucky. Okay, that's not ideal. They just got the soul. Need to get out of here, she's doing too much damage. There we go. Using Talon's mobility to the max. Okay, so while my teammate is, teammates are pushing bot there, I'm just gonna go ahead and push mid. I've nearly got my ultimate back up. The cooldown is insanely low late game, so anybody that tries to defend here, I'm just gonna one shot them. Hmm. Yep, got Kiana here. Don't even need to ult. Uh, I don't know why my entire team came, team came here, though. I what, My idea was to get both inhibs, ideally, but. Maybe we still can. I'll let them finish off this inhib and I'll go for the other one. Okay, we got one. I don't know if I can really get this one, though. Yeah, as you can see, my W cooldown is just insanely low by now. It's not just for the clear that you want CDR. Um, obviously, because you're super reliant on a... Oh, hang on. Yeah, because you're super reliant on your abilities to burst people, especially because, uh, you know, you need them to get your passive up. The faster they're up, the better. Like, in theory, you might miss one W, and then you can't get your passive up until you get W back up. So the faster W comes up, you know, the better. Because a lot of the time you will be completely reliant on being able to hit somebody with your passive in order to kill them. Definitely makes you a much stronger dueler if you can duel without with your passive compared to without. Okay, the enemies are going for Baron here again. Try and go for another steal. We're running that fast, I need to get there really quick. There we go, stole it. Mm. Yeah, unfortunately I had to jump at an angle. Oh, what? Why is he dead? That made zero sense. That was two, that was literally a 1v5 engage from my real install. But anyway, unfortunately to get into the pit without getting CC'd, I had to jump at an angle where I wouldn't get my, an easy E escape out of the pit again. So I just die. What? <laughs> Wait, we might just lose now. That should have been a 4v5 defense, now it's gonna be a 2v5 defense. I think we just lost. I mean, 99 times out of 100, that Baron steal was worth it, but we might just lose because I stole the Baron and wasn't around to win this fight. Yeah, we actually just lost. Oh well. Anyway, I hope you guys have found this guide to Talon helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, gamers.